there, Condonatics! Siguro nagtataka kayo kung saan ako pupunta. Siyempre, it's Holy Week again. Back to my hometown in Baguio City. And of course, di lang ang relaxation and gala ang gagawin natin. Sasama ko kayo sa location ng isa sa upcoming DMCI Homes Leisure Residences just near Baguio City. Kaya tara, samahan niyo kong mag-live, work, and play in the province of Benguet. Finally, Home Sweet Home. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Urban Living PH. Okay, and welcome sa aming bahay here in Baguio City. Having your own home in the province has a lot of benefits, especially kung nasa key vacation places like Rakay, Batangas, Laguna, and of course, the city of Pines, Baguio City. Less expense in accommodation, and you live and feel like a local. Tara, pakita ko na sa inyo ang magiging location ng upcoming condotal project ng DMCI Homes near Baguio City. Let's go! Okay, hi guys! Okay. Uh, today, okay, nandito ako ngayon sa aking hometown, Baguio City. Um, marami. Uh, maraming dahilan bakit nandito ako dito. One, matagal na rin ako hindi ako uwi. Uh, second, ay may papakita ako sa inyong presa. You will know another project ng DMCI Homes na gagawin okay, near Baguio City. Actually, We'll be going to Tuba Benguet, wherein it's a, a municipality of one of the municipalities of Benguet, which is uh, Tuba, that is before Baguio City. Uh, so actually, balapit lang siya dito sa amin, kasi I'm in the outskirts. Uh, we're we're living in the outskirts of Baguio City itself, so hindi kami sa city proper. Uh, medyo malayong kote sa city proper itself. So, harap muna ako ng uh, taxi ba ako o mag-jeep? <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Okay. So, yay! yay, yay. So, see you later. Uh, habang ano, tutor ko kayo sa another project ng DMCI Home. So, see ya guys! So, guys. Uh, this is Marcos Highway. Alright. So, the project is actually near uh, access, very accessible to Marcos Highway. Hindi siya talaga city proper. So, magiging parang uh, relaxation site kasi hindi siya dito sa uh, populated area. Ayan uh, guys. Okay, this one going down to uh, municipality of Tuba Benguet. There you go. So, later on, baka maka drop by tie so but before that let's go to the project site itself which is also part of Tuba Benguet and hello guys and we're here na sa site ng uh, bagong project ng DMCI Homes okay so here in Tuba Benguet and so as you can see at my background, there you go, uh, up there, alright, okay, actually it's just very, very, very near to Mark, yung known as Marcos Highway, but FYI, it was, uh, it was renamed to Ars, uh, Asperas Paris Peace Highway, God, here in Tuba Benguet, so as you can see, ginawa na nila yung access road to that project. So you can see the mountain view there. Tuba Benguet is known for its stunning mountain scenery, cold wow. climate, and proximity to Baguio City. So this is really nice view. As you, you can see, I don't know if uh, no, kung makita nyo dyan, actually, that is Marcos Highway or yung Aspiras Parispis Highway. There you go. Last year, DMCI Homes Leisure Residences launched Palmera Coast, a beachfront condotel in San Juan, Batangas. And now in 
this site, another condotel will rise soon. An eco-agricultural mountain resort that combines two concepts, eco-friendly practices and agricultural integration, all set within a beautiful mountain location. Alright, so nakita niyo na yung next uh, project ng DMCI Homes, another leisure residences uh, that will be placed or that will be located here in Tuba Benguet. So again, it is an Eco Agri Mountain Resort. So while going up again, sarap magano, papawis ah. <laughs> uh, going up again, I'm uh, gonna tell you that our family started to live here in the year 1999. So that is almost 25 years ago. So mag 25th year na kami dito sa Baguio City in May. Okay, so I remember after immediately after my high school, we transferred here in uh, transferred in Baguio City. Technically, I know we've decided to live here now or permanently live here now due to the many different factors. Many different factors such as so yeah, number one the yung cold weather. Really nice uh, cold weather, even though yeah, mainit ngayon. <laughs> Pero still the the air fresh, cool, breezy. Ayan, matas lang ang araw ngayon. Ganda nga ng araw ngayon eh. Hindi nawawala ng vitamin D. And uh, after some time na nadito na rin ako nag start mag college. And then yun, yun yung mga ano. And the uh, assignment of my dad is also here. So nagkataon lahat yun. Bingo. So we've decided to really permanently stay here in Baguio City. But nung una, we've just rented out uh, a part. Ano eh, yung first pala is we just live in a staff house ng, because my dad is a government employee. So nag-live na kami sa isang staff house. And then after some time, um, when my dad was assigned to another place, we decided to I mean, we stay here, hindi na kami mag-follow, hindi na kami mag-sunod sa kung saan man yung project ng dad ko. So, ang nangyari is that we rented out and, uh, ano, dun sa isang place uh, just near the city itself. And then, quite some time, nakapag-ipon na, bumili na ng property. Si mom ko, nag-decide na sila mo bumili ng property and then nagpatay na ng sariling bahay. So, as you could see on the previous video, yung previous footages natin, na yun ang naging place na namin since 2005. Mamaya, i-confirm ko mama ko kung anong year kami naka, ano, I think 2005. 2005 kami. Nandun. And it's also May. I think. <laughs> Marami kaming tinignan noon. But we end up in one of the places nga, is Bakaking. That's actually the main town proper of Tuba Benguet. So, tingnan natin kung anong meron doon and ano ba yung mga access to. Barangay Poblacion ay ang town proper ng Tuba Benguet. It is away from the Condotel project. Nandito ang public market, town hall, health clinic, and more. Dito rin ang paradahan ng public transport to and from Baguio City. Jeepney fare just cost 20 pesos and taxi fare can be as low as 120 pesos to Baguio City proper. Now let's see what we could do in Baguio City. There's a limited ng oras ko here, I'll just give you some of my usuals as a local here. From the Session Road, Tambay sa SN Baguio. Ang KJ ko, no? Well, it's just me. Medyo used to it na ako dito kasi. 25 years resident ka naman. Maybe on my next vlogs, going to go to pa more some places not only in Baguio and Tuba, but also in other municipalities in Benguet. And of course, I'll give you a tour here at SN Baguio. Tara! SM City Baguio itself is a shopping mall, but it offers stunning views of Baguio has few things to see and do inside the mall. With a wide variety of stores and restaurants, you can find local handicrafts, branded goods, local and international cuisine, and everything in between. The 
mall has viewing decks on most floors. And a sky park offering entertainment and relaxation venue. With scenic views of Burnham Park and the surrounding mountains. Hi, mga kodalanics. Okay, day three, last day of uh, my visit here in Baguio, but not last day, as in last day. Yeah. <laughs> last day lang ngayon. Babalik din tayo ulit for another update ng project na yan. So, that today will be going to Baguio Cathedral to celebrate, of course, uh, Easter Sunday. And, um, ano ba? At saka, kahit sa labas. <laughs> okay, see you around the guys. Yeah. Hindi pa dyan nagkatapos ang Baguio tour natin. At dahil Easter Sunday na, of course, we need to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ. And my favorite place to pray and contemplate. Baguio Cathedral After the Mass, we went down to iconic steep staircases connecting Baguio Cathedral and Session Road. And it's a Sunday! Yippee! Session Road is closed for vehicular traffic. This has been a recent tradition now, but before, Wing Panagbeng a flower festival lang. And now let's go to one of the existing GMCI homes, Condotel, and residential condominium in Baguio City, the Outlook Ridge. Was completed in 2016, it's primarily marketed for leisure and vacation stays. Some places advertise it for rent or purchase as a permanent residence. And there you guys, here we have the Outlook Ridge. Uh, one of the DMCI Hobes uh, projects, okay, current project, uh, dito sa Baguio City. So, aside from okay, the next projects of Tuba, we already in Tuba Benguet, we already have two here, uh, and that is the Outlook Ridge and uh, Outlook Ridge and the Bristol Ridge. All right, so ito yung Outlook Ridge. There you go. So of course, uh, based upon the name. It can be accessed through Outlook Drive. Ah, uh, na ako. Baka nakaserve yung pagkaisip. Before, wala pang masyadong restos along Outlook Drive. And now, boom! Local, international, and fusion cuisines within the area. Ganon din posibleng mangyari in the future doon sa upcoming Codatel in Tuba Benguet. Ayan guys, and we're here at uh, Amare La Cochina here on Outlook Drive. Uh, so, uh, first time, actually first time ko dito sa area na to, even though taga Baguio ko. It is offering wood brick, uh, yeah, wood brick oven pizza. Alright, dito lang lang yun sa Outlook Drive. Cool area. Cool climate. Relaxing ambiance. And fantastic food. Living in the mountains of the Cordillera is the best decision my parents made. As convenient as an urban city, yet as relaxing as a province. Living the best of both worlds. Gusto ko experience nyo rin having your own dream home the beautiful mountains of the Cordillera. Paano? Just send a message through the contact details indicated below for early registration back to Manila, but I will return again to Siyempre, dito family ko na katira eh. See you again, Benguet, and see you soon mga condonatics for another episode of Urban Living 2.0.